What's up, what's up, creative? My name is Philip, and this is PR Creative Studio. So, today we are going to look at a simple tutorial on how to create a 3D logo for a company or for yourself. Yes, so today I have here um, Ghana's first uh, uh, TV station. Yes, that is TV3. Yes, so I'm going to the logo is already created, and I'm going to transform it with the Cinema 4D, I'm going to transform it into uh, a 3D logo, yes. So let's, with, that, with that said, let's get right into the tutorials. Okay, so with our logo selected, this is what you're going to do. You come to the layer panel and you click on the logo, not the, the black side, you click on where the logo is, not the mask, you click on the white logo like this. Then you're going to hit I'm going to hit hold control and click on the logo like this like so and then you select uh, the rectangular marquee tool or the lasso to any of them then you come and right click on it and make the dialogue you come to make work part yes so you click on it like so and then let it set the tolerance to 2.0 yes and then you click ok yes so it will create a work part for you now you turn off the logo like so and then you have the work part selected and then you come to file and then you go to export and come down to parts to illustrator parts to illustrator and you click on it like so work part so you click on ok now so you're going to save it with any name, so let me say TV3 3D, yes, and click save. All right, so after that, you can just open your Cinema 4D software, like so. Yes, yeah, so when you open it, this is how it's going to look. Yeah, so you just come to file and come to open. Yes, so I would have to look for where I saved. Yeah, let me go to quick access and see where I can get it today. Yes, so I have it here to be 3, 3D. Click on it like so and it's, don't change anything. Let the scale be 1 and click OK. Yes, so you can see we have the logo here. We have the path for the logo here like so. Yes, yeah, so I'm going, just going to add the extrude to it. Yes, the extrude to it, and then some colors and lights. Okay, so now let's come to this side. Then you hit, click on the plus sign, so it will open all the parts for you. Yes, it will open all the parts for you. So what you're going to do is you come here, you hold, you right click and hold, and choose extrude yes now so you what you're going to do is you have check the number of parts that you have so you have parts one two three four five six you have six parts so you are going to copy the extrude, copy and paste the extrude six times yes so let's do control c yes and control v to paste v to paste v to paste v to paste and we to paste. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So I have six parts. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag, put all the extrude inside the 3D layer, layers like so. Yeah. So what you are going to do is you click on part one, drag it, and make sure the arrow points down, and you leave it. Yes. Then click on part two. Take it to the other extrude. Make sure the arrow is pointing down and you release it. Yeah, so you continue like so. Like so. Like so. And so, okay. So, guys, you can see now we have a 3D version of the logo. But the extrude is too much. You can choose to reduce the movement. And just hold this one, select all the extrude. 
Yes, so guys, I'm coming here. Yeah, so you have the 3D work in place. Yeah, it's very simple, very, very simple. Now, let me load my colors. I'll make sure I leave the link in the description so that we get the. Um, sorry, sorry, so that you can also download it and use it for your designs. Yes, so I think I have this. Oh. Yes, so I have the colors here. I have the colors here, yes. Have the colors here like so. Yes, well, and now I also have the lights. Yes, I also have the lights that you can also use it for to give it that kind of fine look. Yes, that kind of fine look. Yes, what you're going to do is you come to file and you now hit on merge. Now, so this is Studio Light Cinema for the Studio Light. So you click on it like so and hit close. Yes, so now we have the lights in place. So let me bring it back like so. And now I'm going to hold this and choose this one, the scale to, and then enlarge my 3D logo. Enlarge it. Enlarge it. Enlarge it like so, and then choose the move to and place it well. Yes. So adjust it like so. I think I should also scale it the more. Yes. And like so. Yeah, so now you have your 3D text, you have your light in place. Yes, you have your light in place. You have your light in place, sorry. You have your light in place. Now you can what you can do is you can adjust this light like so. Depending on how you want the effect, you can adjust it like so. Yeah, you can adjust it. And you can also copy and paste this light. Copy and paste it. Let me know. Yes. And drag the other one to the other side like so. And now you come to this part. This brightness. Brightness multiplier and rotation and then you, you hit there's a pan panel here so you just drag to so the other side let me bring it back and see how it is rotating yes well, I think this is cool let me drag it up like so drag it to the other end and adjust my 3d text choose the other sub box and adjust it well like so Yes, let me choose my 3D text and drag it up a little, like so. Yes, so what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to reduce this. I'm going to reduce this by 50. Oh, this one to reduce it by 50. Do that for all the extrudes. Yes. All the shoots set it to 50 centimeters. That one is a personal preference. You can do more than that. Yes, but I'll go with the 50 because I don't want to get more of the body look. Okay, so now let me zoom in and rotate it. Yes, so yeah, I set this to 50 because I'm going to duplicate the logo three times. Yes. So what I'm going to do is, let me close this, hold it and then control C and V to paste. Let me bring it down. Let me 
bring it down. Control V again to paste and bring down to down. And yes, so I'm gonna select one like so and click, drag it like so, drag it a little like so. Hold the other one too and drag that one to backwards like so. Yes, let me adjust the other one too. Well, yes, so now this is what we have something nice, something cool. Yes, now let me choose the colors. Let me choose the colors. So, when you look at the logo, we have red at the top, we have green at down, we have yellow in the middle. So, I have to make sure I choose exact same colors. So I'm gonna so this I've choose the first one, the first part like so. It does one is the red color, so I'll drag it like so and drop. Sorry. Drop it here, yes, drop it on the street and I'm going to get the look. Now let me look for the other part, which is the part six, and that one is the green. So I'm going to drag and leave it on the extrude and I'll get, let me rotate it well, yeah, so you can see we have the look here, like so, yes, and then the middle, let me look for the middle, click on the middle and look for a yellow color, drag it and drop it on the extrude and we are good to go, yes. So I think this yellow is not working that much so what you are going to do is you click on it and make sure you set the color to something that would be visible yes so I think this is okay now I can do something to this to get the yellow showing for me yeah. now so at the other side the tv3 yeah, so that i'll just drag the black color drop it like so drag it again look for the v drag it again drop it look for the t drag it and drop it yes so now we have our 3d text now i'm gonna look for the part this part behind it and repeat the same color and repeat the same color on it like so yes and look for the down color and repeat the green like so and look for the and repeat the black yes so after that I do now with the middle one I'm going to choose a white color like so let me close the back side and choose the middle one and choose a white color and drop it like so choose the down but choose the same white color and drop it yes so now guys we have something nice something nice love with the middle it's love with the middle yes and i have to look for the white and drop it yes and this one to look for the yellow and And choose the back side yes and drop the yellow on it like so and we are good to go so something simple something simple something nice so this is a fast way to create a 3d text a 3d logo you can use the same procedure to create a 3d logo a text yes yeah when you're done then you render it and you are good to go yes 